everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be doing February favorites and I'm just going to start off with the best February favorite of all, like the number one thing that I have just been so excited about this month, actually the past couple of days, and that is hitting 10,000 subscribers. Oh my gosh. Honestly, I mean, I'd always dreamed that my channel would start to grow a little bit, but I never really expected to hit 10,000 subscribers ever when I first started. Um, I started like five years ago, so I definitely grew slowly because I wasn't as consistent, but when I really started trying to be consistent last year, it gradually started growing, and I am so thankful that you are all here, that you are enjoying my channel, that you wanna come back and keep watching my videos. So thank you so much. We have done this together and I just cannot thank you enough. Um, I'm gonna be doing an Instagram post later today, I hope. So if I get that done, I will definitely leave in the description bar like my Instagram post and also my Instagram handle if you wanna see it. But it's just something from the heart, something to thank you and to let you know what this channel is all about. And so I'm just, I'm really speechless. Thank y'all so much for being here with me. So yeah, it's not big in YouTube numbers, but if I was to sit in a room with 10,000 people, that would be a massive amount to me, and I am so thankful for every single one of you. Now let's get into my other February favorites. I have quite a random mixture. I have some makeup, I have a clothing item, and then I have way more food items this month than normal. Normally I like throw in a food item here and there every month, but this month I think I have three different food items to share with you. I mean, if you've been here long enough, you can kind of figure out I love makeup, I love clothes, but I also love my food. <laughs> The first item is the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I talked about this in some kind of capacity last month, I think, but I just wanted to reiterate that I've been reaching for this a lot this month. It's just so pretty on the skin. I do have it on today. It is about a shade too dark for me, even in the lightest shade zero in. So I threw on a little bit of self tanner to make it match today. Oh, speaking of which, please excuse the awful self tanner hands. I did an awful job. Really and truly, I was just so lazy last night. Um, I just slapped it on instead of doing all the little tricks I know to do to make it look better. And yeah, I paid for it. I paid for my laziness. But anyway, it's about a shade too dark, so I do have to tan up just a little bit to make it to match. But it's so pretty. It lasts a long time. And I really love this. And I don't usually like glowy foundations. So that is a big testament to this one. The next thing is the Sapphire Beauty Blender. And I've been meaning to mention this. For months now and I honestly can't remember if I've mentioned it or not so I'm gonna go ahead and include it in the February favorites because I don't know if I've included it before but when I hauled this I said I bought it because everybody says this is the best beauty blender it's the best color it's the softest the squishiest just the most perfect beauty blender of all the colors and they are correct I love the blue color the blue really does not fade very much at all you barely see any color running off of the water um, so I love that about it but other than that the way it performs is the best it is softer it's squishier it just it's the best color and as long as they make the blue color I will continue to buy it now that I said that like I feel like I've I've said that before so I'm having deja vu, which tells me I probably included this but whatever I'm telling you again get the blue one if you use a beauty blender the last two makeup items are old makeup items, but I kind of, I did what the beauty gurus call shop my stash, and I pulled them out, and I started using them again, and I fell in love all over again. The first one is the Kevin Aquan, the Sculpting Powder, and this is in the shade Light. It's a contour powder. It's like the perfect cool color that's not too gray and cool, but it's definitely not too warm. I have it on today, and I've been wearing it pretty much every day. And I love it. I was using my Hourglass Bronzer to like do the bronzing contour, but it was just a little bit too much for me because I'm so pale in the winter. So I didn't want to like warm up my skin and bronze it up because I was just so paper white. But I do want to add a little bit of definition right here under the cheekbones. So this was perfect. The only negative about it is it has a lot of kickback. You just tap your brush in it and powder goes everywhere. It kind of is wasteful. It wastes a lot of product in that you have to like tap it off. A lot comes off of your brush, but also a little goes a long way on this as well. So I just tap it in once, tap off the excess. I even dab it on a Kleenex because I don't want too much darkness under here um, because I'm so fair and it's perfect. There's not very much product in this pan. As you can see, it's like a tiny little eyeshadow palette, 
but like I said, a little bit goes a long way. So even though it's very expensive and very small, I'll get a lot of use out of it. And like I said, it's kind of just been sitting in my drawer since I discovered the Hourglass Bronzer, but I pulled it back out and it's getting lots of love now. Another thing getting lots of love is the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl. This is my absolute favorite highlighting palette and I was kind of playing around with a lot of other highlighters and I had gotten to where I didn't wear highlighter very often so this kind of took a back seat all my highlighters did. I was only wearing highlighter for date night for a special night out um, or only when I was tanned but then I started wearing this lattice shade every single day and I just got addicted to it. I just fell in love with highlighter all over again in general and I would use all that I have and I would keep coming back to this one. This shade is just perfect when I am fair. The middle one I can use when I am pretty good and self tanned and then the last one is super glittery so I still only use that one for like special nights out if at all. I'll use it like on the collarbone or something but this is the perfect palette. This is just the perfect highlighter. It doesn't emphasize texture, but it's still very noticeable on the cheeks. Well, not very noticeable. It's a very nice, natural, and noticeable um, without emphasizing pores and texture and things like that. Okay, for lifestyle, I have one clothing item and then food. The one clothing item is a pair of black leggings, and I know you're thinking another pair of black leggings. How many black leggings can you own? How many different pairs can really be that different? These are different. These are amazing. These are life changing. These are so good. I know that's a lot to put on a pair of black leggings, but they're really that good. I've heard several bloggers talk about them now, but the person I'm gonna give credit to is Ashley Nichols. I follow her on Instagram and read her blog, and she said these were life changing, and I trust her. She was absolutely correct, so now I'm sharing the love with you. These are by the Airy brand from American Eagle. These are the Play 7 8 leggings. So they're a 7 8 length, which makes them perfect for petite girls. Um, I have shorter legs, so I bought the regulars, but if you are petite and you still want them at a 7 8 length, you can do that. Love that about American Eagle and Airy. I love that they have petite and longs. But this fabric, guys, it is so silky, and when it is on your body, it just feels like one with your body. It is so lightweight that you feel like you don't have anything on. They feel literally seamless. They are so comfortable. At first I thought, well, these will be more like everyday wear out leggings. And then the first day that I had them on, I wore them all day and then it was time to go to the gym. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna wear them to the gym and see how they feel. And they were awesome. They did not slide down because they're super silky. I was worried that they might kind of like slip and slide down. They didn't really budge, nice and high waisted. They're not super like compression leggings. I got a size medium. I like the way the medium fits, but if I wanted them to be a little bit tighter and suck me in a little more, I feel that I could get away with wearing a small. So just know that um, if you're in between sizes, I think it could go both ways because they're so nice and stretchy. So yes, you need to get you a pair. They're normally on sale for under $30 and they are worth every penny. Definitely go grab you a pair, especially when they're on sale. Now for the really good stuff, it's time for the food. This first is a new breakfast from Jimmy Dean. It's the Jimmy Dean Delights Egg Witch, and it's a breadless breakfast sandwich. It has like the egg frittata for the buns with turkey sausage and cheese. Now the regular frittatas that they have in the freezer section are really good as well. I buy those a lot for a quick and easy breakfast, but this one, the taste is just so good. This one also feels just a little bit more substantial than their regular frittatas. But like I said, I love those frittatas as well. If you see those in the store, they're really good. But this one has a little bit more calories and a little bit more protein, which just tells me I think there's just a little bit more sausage. So it just feels like a little bit more of a substantial breakfast. But the frittata has bacon, spinach, caramelized onion, and parmesan. And then it has the turkey sausage and cheese. It's really so good. And this is just a healthier, quick breakfast option from the grocery store. So if you're going for a lower carb diet, these would be a good option along with the frittatas that I mentioned. I'm not specifically going for a lower carb diet. I just find that the things I'm lacking right now don't include a lot of bread. So I'm just kind of, I'm going with it. Um, I do still eat carbs, but I'm eating a lot of breakfast things like this that don't include any bread. So really been loving these. Now the next one is not something healthy. Um, I think it's, I mean it's healthier than most dessert, but it is the Sheila G's Brownie Brittle. And I have the salted caramel version. 
These are so good. Now on first bought, I wasn't too sure because I don't like crunchy brownies. I like the middle piece, like the gooeyest, undone middle piece brownie. And so these are brittle. They are definitely crunchy. And if you love like crunchy edges, you're going to die over these. But on first bought, I was like, I don't like crunchy brownies. But then I kept eating them and I was like, these are so good. It has the best brownie flavor. It has salted caramel, which I love as well. And then it kind of feels like a cracker. So you're getting salt. You're getting like salty, sweet cracker. It's very, very good. And you have to watch yourself because those type of things like crunchy cracker mixed with really good chocolatey flavor, they're hard to quit. So watch yourself when you eat these. But these are 120 calories for one ounce and there's five servings per container. So I feel like you can eat quite a bit for 120 calories, which isn't like the best. I mean, it's got 14 grams of sugar, but if you were to compare that to one cupcake or one piece of cake, one actual brownie, 120 calories just doesn't seem so bad for the amount you get to eat. Let me just show you how big the pieces are because you could have like one after dinner or like two, let's say two or three. And I don't think that would be anywhere close to an ounce and you would get like your chocolate fix. I think these would just be really good to have a couple or three after dinner to help curve your sweet tooth um, without going completely overboard and blowing a diet. And my last February favorite is my favorite healthy lunch this month. I came across this from Ashley Nichols as well. She's awesome. If you don't follow her on Instagram, obviously you need to. But she inspired this dish. I'll put a picture here, but it is rice cauliflower diced sweet potatoes with Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning and then two fried eggs and a big dollop of guacamole. It is so good together. At first I was a little skeptical. I'm not the biggest fan of sweet potatoes. I'm not the biggest fan of cauliflower. Um, fried eggs are great if you fry it in like bacon grease. <laughs> and then guacamole, I love. The guacamole to me makes this. It just adds so much flavor and creaminess and just brings all the flavors together and it's really, really good. I am now a big fan of rice cauliflower. It's not nearly as bad as I thought it was gonna be. The diced sweet potatoes are awesome. They really bulk up the meal and make you feel like you're eating a lot. Then the eggs add your protein and the guacamole adds your healthy fats from avocados. So all together, it's a very healthy, quick meal. It's meatless, it's soy-free, gluten-free, dairy-free because that's what her diet is right now. So it's just all around a good meal for a lot of different people and a lot of different diets. So for the rice cauliflower and the diced sweet potatoes, I did get those in the freezer section. And then I just used these stove top instructions to cook those. I did the sweet potatoes first because they take longer. And then I added in the rice cauliflower when the potatoes were almost done. And then I add the everything but the bagel seasoning. And then I pour all of that when it's done into a bowl and then fry my eggs in olive oil. And that makes it a one pan lunch. It's really, really easy. Then you just put the fried eggs over that mixture and I take one of those single serve 100 calorie packs of guacamole that you buy. I've done both the regular and the spicy. I really like the regular better with the flavors. Um, and I just put the entire 100 calorie cup on top, I add just a little bit more of the everything but the bagel seasoning. It's very flavorful, it's good, it's filling. That lunch gets two thumbs up for being healthy and also for being flavorful and really good. I normally hate to eat healthy, so to say that this is really good probably says a lot. So that is all I have for you for my February favorites. Thank you all so much for watching and for being here. If you are new here, I would love for you to come join us. And thank you all so much who have already subscribed and have gotten this channel up to 10,000. I cannot tell you how grateful I am. I am just so excited. I'm so excited to see where this goes. I love this so much. I love interacting and I've gotten to know some of y'all so much more recently through like DMs and Instagram and just here in the comment section. I love it. Keep it coming. I'd love to know more about you. So I just love to have you here. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And my next video is probably either going to be an everyday get ready with me or my nighttime skincare routine. Let me know in the comments down below if you have like a preference on which you'd like to see next. I haven't really decided. So if you do have a preference, let me know in the comment section. And I will see all of you in my next one. Bye.